Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will understand what are arithmetic compound assignment operators and later understand how numeric promotion in arithmetic expressions happen. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now let us understand arithmetic compound assignment operator. So they are used to simply provide a shorter syntax for assigning the result of an arithmetic operator, right? And as you can see in the table, I have written the expression which is equivalent to the longer syntax, right? And we will understand them with the help of the program. Now consider this example, you know, where we, what we'll do is we'll initialize two integer variables, right? So what I do is I write int i1 equals to five. Then I write int i2 equals to three, right? And you know, suppose if we want to update the value of i1, you know, such that it is sum of the old value and your i2. So what we need to do is we'll write something like this, you know, i1 equals to i1 plus i2 right so what we are doing is we are taking the old value and then we are adding it to the value of i2 and we'll update the value of i1 later on right so let me print the output right so what i do is system dot out dot print ln and inside the parentheses i have the variable one all right so let me save this and verify the output right and our output should be eight right since here we are adding the old value 5 with the i2, right? So 5 plus 3 is 8, right? So let me check the output. Now let us execute and verify the output. So what we'll do is first compile the program. So I've written Java C test.java. And as you can see, we don't have any compilation errors. Now let us execute it. So right, compound operators. Operate. Right, and it should be four. Oh, right, so let me execute. Right, and as you can see, we have the output of eight. So that means we have you know successfully updated the value of i one. All right. Now in Java, there is a simple way to do this operation. Right. So instead of writing i one equals to i one plus i two, what we will do is simply write i one plus equals to i two. And if you save this and run this, we can see we have the same output, which is eight, right? So let me run this program. So let me compile and execute the program once again. And we have successfully compiled the program. So let me execute it. And as you can see, we have the same output, eight, all right? Now consider this another example where we have two byte variables, b1 and b2, right? And they initialize with the values five and three respectively, right? And similar to our integer example, what we will do is we'll store the sum of the old value of b1 and b2 in our variable b1, right? And later we'll print the value of b1. So now let us execute the program. Now let us compile and execute the program. So what I will write is Java C test dot Java. And as you can see, we have the compilation error. We have this possible lossy conversion from into byte, right? And we will understand why this happens in the later part of the video. But for now, let us understand how to fix this compilation error. All right. So to fix the error, what we will do is we'll cast the whole expression, you know, b1 plus b2 into byte, right? So what we'll write as byte and then we'll cast the whole expression b1 plus b2. Now let us save this and run this and our output should be proper. All right, and now if I compile and execute the program, I should not have any compilation errors. And as we can see, we don't have any compilation error. Now let me execute it. And yes, we have the output of eight, all right. Similarly, if we want to find the difference between B1 and B2 and store the result in B1, what we do is we write something like this, you know, B1 minus B2, right? And if we save and run this, we have the output as so let me run this program so see the file now let me run this now let me compile the program and now execute it and yes we have the output as 2 so the simplified version of this expression is b1 minus equals to b2 so let me remove this so I write minus equals to b2 now let me save this and if we compile and execute the program our output should be 2 only so let me run this. Now let me compile this once again and execute. And yes, we have the output of 2. 
all right similarly we can do compound assignment to all the other binary arithmetic operators like the multiplication division and the modulo now let us look at the two rules of numeric promotion in arithmetic expression so the first rule is when a unary arithmetic operator is applied to an operand whose type is narrower than the int the operand is promoted to a value of type int with the operation resulting in an int value and this might sound very confusing so we will understand this with the help of the program now consider this example where we have a int variable b1 with the value of 5 all right and suppose if we want to change the value of b1 to minus 5 what we do is we simply write b1 equals to minus b1 all right so now let us print the output so we write system dot out dot println and then the variable b1 now let us compile and verify the output now let us compile the program and as you see we don't have any compilation error so now let us execute it and as you can see we have successfully executed the program and also change the value of our variable from positive phi to negative phi now let us modify the data type of v1 from int to byte so we'll make this byte all right so now let us save this and run this now let us compile the program so as you can see we have the compilation error possible lossy conversion from int to byte in fact you will get compilation errors if you use data types like char or short as well which are lower than int and we will understand why this happens now there was a compilation error when you apply unary operator like plus and minus to a operand which is of a data type lower than int so here we have a b1 variable which is of data type byte which is lower than int so if you apply any of the unary operator like plus and minus to data types byte short or char by default the value of your operand is converted to a int so that's the reason you need to cast this into byte because the value what we get from this expression will be an int value so we need to cast it to byte and now if we save this and execute it we don't get any compilation errors so now let us run this now let us compile and execute the program so as you see we have successfully compiled the program now let us execute it so we have this and as you see we have the proper output of negative 5 all right now as you know that your value is converted into int so we can write something like this so we can write int i equals to minus b1 and if you print the value of i we can see we have the proper output which is negative 5 so let me run the program now let us compile the program so as you see we don't have any compilation errors now let us execute that java compound operator and as you see we have the output of negative 5 all right so that is it for the first tool of numeric promotions in arithmetic expressions now let us understand the second rule in second rule what we need to know about numeric promotion in arithmetic expression is that binary numeric promotion is applied to the operands of the binary arithmetic operators and the application leads to the type promotion of for the operands and usually the result is of the promoter type which is of the type int or wider and we will understand this as well with the help of the examples now consider this expression d multiplied by i where d is a variable of type double and i is a variable of type int right so binary numeric promotion rule states that you know our operand of lower type is converted to the operand of larger type so between double and int since double is of a larger type so our int variable is converted into the double variable right and so the output will be in double so let us write a program and see the output now consider this example where we have a variable d which is of double type and it has the value of 12.5 and then we have an integer variable i which has a value of 3 so according to the binary numeric promotion rules 
our integer will be converted into a double and so the output should be in double so the value of 12.5 will be added to the 3 so the output should be 15.5 right so let us execute and verify the output we have successfully compiled the program now let us execute it and as you see we have the output as 15.5 now consider this another example where we have a char variable c divided by the short variable s right so we have already seen that you know if any variable it is of the data type smaller than int then it will be promoted to the int data type right if it is used in a binary arithmetic expression right so c is promoted to int and also short is promoted to int right so the output will be in int right so let us verify this expression so here we have a char variable a which is initialized with a value of a right and then we have the short variable s which is initialized with the value of 66 right and as you know the internally the value of a is represented as 65 in integer right so our sum of c plus s should be 131 right so let us run and verify the output and as you see we don't have any compilation errors now let us execute and look the output is 131 all right and that is it for the today's video if you have any problem you can definitely comment below and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you until next time